Hi guys, welcome to Shami Cooking Mantra. Today video is going to be little different. I'm going to just give a glimpse of what I do in my day time. I start my day with my trading, trading with the um, share market and uh, sometimes I will be happy when I get profits and sometimes little dull. It depends on the market how it is. So my mood depends on how the market is. So today um, I saw profit and suddenly I saw loss. So I want to log out and cook. Before that I need to take bath and cook. I became very dull trading. So I went to take bath and after taking bath immediately I checked my stock which is still in low so I started cooking I'm going to make a brinjal curry with sprout and one chutney uh, to begin with I added oil to the pan and uh, tempered with mustard seeds and fenugreek and then chopped onion one onion chopped finely this is, is another karakorambu uh, kind of curry so I added some sprouts which is good for health It reduces cholesterol. So in our diet, we never eat without oil. We temper everything. So it's better to have sprouts. So I added tomatoes and sprout I sauteed. And then green brinjal, which is very fresh. I sauteed well and then added chilli powder. This curry needs more chilli powder as it is called a karakurambu. Turmeric powder. Saute till the raw flavor of chili goes and then I added garlic which I never did because garlic is very good I started using garlic I use garlic in Italian or Mexican any other dishes but not in South Indian curries If the curry needs garlic, I will add it, but mostly I prefer without garlic. And I am adding tamarind water. The quantity of tamarind depends on your taste. If you like that uh, sour taste of tamarind, you can add more. And I'm closing with a lid and let the brinjal cook along with tamarind and chilli powder. For this karakorambu, I'm going to make a chutney. It's a amla chutney but not fresh amla. It is gooseberry. I have salted amla so I'm adding 7 pieces of salted amla. 2 green chilies, 1 handful of desiccated coconut and 1 spoon of pickle, lemon pickle, any pickle you can uh, choose according to your taste. I have selected this um, lemon pickle and everything goes into the blender 
and with a little water we can blend it and no need to add salt so i am checking whether the brinjal is cooked so it is 90% done I am adding sambar powder which is over so I need to make my sambar powder the bottle is finished so let it cook for another 5 minutes I have added salt to the brinjal and now it is ready so I am going to taste it yum it is so chutney is also ready so now my work is to serve So he is also ready for the lunch and I am adding purple pudi chutney to my plate katrika khara kolambu and then with rice I am adding little gingerly oil that is sesame oil for him ghee for me little oil for uh, purple pudi combination if you have some pudis along with uh, other curries and chutneys you feel like you are having a good thali kind of food like you have so many varieties you feel like that when you have one chutney and one pudi I actually made one curry but it looks like we have so much because of one chutney and one pudi often i have this uh, curry leaf powder along with my lunch so we had a very good lunch and the day started with the dell trading and after having lunch i will be happy so thank you guys for watching